Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a King of the Hill system inside our Roblox Studio. So let's get started. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is first add our hitbox. So we're going to add in a part. And this is going to be our King of the Hill part, basically. And you could make this a cylinder or anything, to be honest. I'm just going to make it a cube. Uh, I'm just going to quickly just make something that when a player stands inside of it, this is where you will, the player will start getting his reward. So you want to name this to hitbox with a capital H and then some settings you want to make sure that are enabled are going to be anchored and in the properties tab go uh, down and find can collide and make sure that is off so that means a player will be able to walk through it that way I'll just make this a little taller so then you're still uh, counted as an if a player jumps or is a tall player I guess so make this a little bigger and uh, I'll just add a little bit of transparency just a little bit just like that all right next what you guys want to do is we're going to add in a model so you, you can just add you can click hitbox and do Control g or command g or you could go to workspace and click the plus sign and then add a model but we're going to name this model to king of the hill just like that and make sure our hitbox is inside of that model now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a folder inside of this model and we're going to name this folder to values. This is where all of our uh, values are going to go. We have two values. And we're going to add. So inside of this values folder, you want to add a bool value. Just like that. Oh, that's body colors. There we go. Bool value should pop up as value. You want to change this name to is and tested. And you want to duplicate this bool value. And you want to rename the second one to king. Just like that. All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to close off this model and we're going to go to service script service and uh, we need to add our leader stat script. So I'm going to rename this script to leader stats. And we're going to start scripting. So we're going to start off again with local players is equal to game. Uh, call and get players or get service and then oh, well, this one players. Then we're going to go down and do players dot player added colon connect function player and then uh, we're going to go down and we're going to do our leader stats or local leader stats is equal to instance dot new uh and we're going to this a folder we're going to go down again we do leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats And then we're going to go down again. We do leader stats dot parent is equal to player. Now we're going to add in our, our, our money value. So I'm just going to do local cash. You could do local money. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to call, call it. Coins, money, cash, whatever you want. And it's already done for me. So I'm going to just do that just like this. And I'm going to make sure my value is set to zero. So now that you're done this. You want to head over back to the model. And we're going to add a script inside of here. Once again, remove the default code and this script's a bit longer, but we're going to do local uh, players is equal to game get service players. And then we're going to go down and add our values. So we're going to local values is equal to script dot parent dot values. And we're going to do same for the hitbox. So we're going to do local hitbox is equal to script dot parent dot hitbox. And then we're going to uh, go down two lines. We're going to do local hill players. And we're going to make this a table, an empty table. So we're just going to add the two pointy brackets. I don't really exactly know what they're called. Um, that's what I've heard other people call it. But yeah, we're gonna do hitbox dot touched. And we're gonna connect it to a function. And then we're gonna do a hit function because it's the player the hitbox can be touched uh, by a player. And uh from here we're gonna do if hit dot parent uh, find first child and we're gonna do humanoid. So if the uh, the hit function, the hitbox is touched. We're going to do local 
Uh, I'm not sure if this is right, but yeah, I'm gonna do local player. Uh, this is gonna be lowercase actually because we already have a capital one over here. So local player uh, is equal to players, and we're gonna get player from character. And then we're gonna do hit dot parent. Yeah. And then we're gonna go down. We're gonna do if all player and not table dot find. I'm gonna do hill players. I'm gonna do comma player. And that's how the bracket we're gonna do end uh, or then. Uh, we're gonna do table. Uh, dot insert. So table dot insert. Then we do hill players, comma player. Uh, comma player just like that. We're gonna go down. We're gonna do if values dot uh say king dot value is equal e or is not equal to actually false and then we do values i was click the wrong thing we do values dot is contested dot value is equal to true and then we're gonna go down or do else this is else not an else if we're gonna do values dot king dot value is equal to true all right so now we're gonna go down uh, i'm gonna skip uh all the way down here actually i think so if that's just the end for yeah we're gonna go down this much we're gonna do hitbox dot touch ended uh touch ended and we're gonna connect to a function and a hit function then if hit dot parent uh colon find first child humanoid then we're gonna go down and do local player is equal to players and then we do uh colon get player from character or to hit dot parent go down once again and we're gonna do if player and able dot find and we're gonna find we want the table to find the hill players the player then we're gonna go down once again and we're gonna do table dot remove and we're gonna do uh hill players we're gonna do table comma table dot find let me spell that right. Dot find. And then we're going to do another brackets. And we're going to do hill player, comma, player. And you're going to make sure you get the right, that you, you have the right player down. So, because we have two different types of players. So, let me fix the spelling here too. So, there's player like that. And then there's the other players. So, you want to make sure this is the right one. Uh, anyways, now that we're done this, we're going to go down at the very bottom of these of this end and this is the last section and we're, we're going to start us with a while task dot wait we're going to wait about now this is how long you want to wait between the payouts uh, that the players are going to get so for for this uh for what we're doing the video is basically every time a player is inside of the uh what's it called the hill it's going to get a hundred or a certain amount of coins i'm going to do 100 uh yeah 100 coins after after like every few seconds so we could do 10 seconds but for the sake of video i'll probably do like three or let's do five but this is how long you could do it you could do it minutes so if you want to do minutes you would have to write let's say 60 seconds for one minute 120 seconds for two minutes and so on but yeah i'm gonna do do at the end i'm gonna do four underscore comma player in pairs we do player players and then we do call, get get players just like that and when we're gonna add a, a another end bracket make sure you have another end bracket right here it might not add it for you but you got to add it for you by yourself and then you want to enter so add the do and then enter uh then we're gonna do if 
yeah we're gonna do if table dot find and then uh we're gonna do brackets hill uh players comma player we're gonna do then and then we're gonna go down we're gonna do if and then number of hill players is greater than one then we're gonna go down and we're gonna do values dot is contested dot value is equal to true and then we're gonna go down we do values dot king dot value uh and then we're gonna do is equal to false we're gonna go down again we're gonna do else if so oh, i think i went down twice bring that up a bit all right so else if i don't know why i added a then it's not supposed to do that well then's gonna come after that, actually but we're gonna do number of hill players as equal equal is equal to one so you want to add two equal signs that means is equal to and then uh we're gonna do values dot king uh dot value is equal to true and then once again just like the opposite values dot is contested dot value is equal to false and we're gonna go down two more lines and uh let me just bring these up again I don't know why I keep adding extra lines. Just like that. I'm gonna do the last line player dot leader stats dot cash. Oops. Leader. I can spell this right. It's leader stats dot cash dot value. Now this is where how much you want to add. So I'm gonna do plus equal to I'm gonna do 100, but you could do whatever honestly. Basically, if you wanna add anything else uh like let's say a text label that pops up that uh player has now become the king i guess that will come after this so you gotta everything you put is gonna be after this between these so where i put this uh right after that, i guess you could put that in there but i don't really have that type of um that type of like text label or anything so i'm just gonna keep with this and make sure when you write cash dot value it's the name of your cash or your money value over here I'm doing cash because it's named cash over here. If you have money over here, make sure you write money over here or else it won't work. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the script. Now we can go ahead and test it out. All right, so as you can see, guys, now that we're in the game, the first script is working. The leader stats, I have the cash over here. Now, once I enter here, I have to wait five seconds. And every five seconds, I'm going to get a hundred cash. Just like that, you got my first hundred cash. And I wait another five seconds. And as long as I'm in here, I get... I keep getting 100 cash. I got 200. And then now I'm at 300. Now until someone comes and kills me and I get out of here. Let's say I leave. I have to now. I don't, I'm not going to get any more cash. Or else I could go around and get, get cash drops I guess. But if I enter back in here. I'll wait 5 seconds and get the 400. And then wait another 5 seconds. And then get to 500. So that's basically for this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully this did help out. If you guys have any questions about the video or have any other video ideas, be sure to comment down in the section below. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, so as you know, if you saw my new community post on my channel, I have announced our next Robux giveaway live stream. It will take place when the channel does hit 3,000 subscribers. Now, there will be a separate information video that I will post when the channel reaches 2,900 subscribers, which will give everyone enough time to enter. Now, the rules will be the exact same as usual. You have to be subscribed to the channel, be in my Roblox group, and comment down your Roblox username uh, on the information video. Now, like I said before, the information video is currently not uploaded yet. And it will be available at 2,900 subscribers. But what you can do now is go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join my Roblox group linked in the description below of all my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Good luck.